Matt Johnson here with Ice Team. You know, nowadays there's no excuse not to have your fish trap rigged the exact way you want it for a day on the ice. We now can trick your trap with all these awesome accessories. I'm gonna show you some accessories that I like to use for my personal fish trap, plus other options that you may wanna use for yours. For starters, you gotta have a travel cover. Most anglers are running across the lake, snow's getting in there, it could have sleet, all kinds of conditions. So the travel cover protects your investment. And these travel covers now from Clam have the cinch straps to hold everything nice and tight and compact. So I can zip across the lake with this hooked up to the back of my four-wheeler or snowmobile or in the bed of your pickup truck and keep it clean. You can also store stuff inside there and that cover just keeps everything nice and neat. So a travel cover is a must have for your fish trap. Ways to store your bait. There's various options of bait buckets that have the spill proof lids. So now I can take these on and off store my bait it's got a nice little rubber gasket on there tighten that down and now water won't get out of there when you're running across the lake so now you're not spilling your minnows you're not making a mess inside your fish trap so a way to organize and keep your bait safe and these come in a couple different sizes depending on whether you're chasing crappies or larger game fish and then you have bait wells that attach to your fish trap as well so you can actually rig this onto the side of your fish trap sled crates Two different size carrying crates. You got the standard crate here. We probably have a bunch of these in our garage. Very durable, very rugged. These are worth their weight in gold. You can store a big propane tank, you can store accessories in here, you can store tackle trays, whatever you might want to store inside this crate for a day of fishing. And of course the newer size, the mag crate. Now you can throw your Mr. Heater Buddy in there with a couple additional one pound propane tanks, larger items. So now you have two size milk crates to really get things organized as you run around on the ice. Moving down the line, runner kit. When I sell a fish house to a friend or a family member, let alone somebody I've never met, I'm always gonna tell them they need to get a runner kit. This isn't me trying to upsell anybody. Again, it's something to take care of your investment. The runner kit should go on the bottom of your sled before you build your fish trap. It's the easiest way to install it. This will double, if not triple, the life of your sled because the runner kit is taking the abuse. And then as these runner kits wear down over time, again, you're protecting your investment, you can replace these pretty easily to keep your sled intact. The last thing you wanna do on a day of fishing or after a hard season of use is blow a hole in the bottom of your sled. Doesn't matter what type of sled you have, if you're running across gravel, hard packed snow, hard ice, you're gonna eventually wreck a hole, burn a hole in the bottom of your fish house. These runner kits help preserve that. So make sure you get the runner kit that best matches your fish trap, cut it down to size and get that rigged up there. So really, really important accessory. Moving on to different ways to attach your fish house, your fish trap to your ATV or snowmobile. The hitch systems. There's two hitch options from Clam Outdoors. You have the Pro Series hitch, that's gonna be our newer one that came out in recent years. It's got more of the one piece handlebar approach. And then you have the ever popular universal tow bar. Same concept, two different ways to get that fish house rigged and ready on the back of your, of your ATV or snowmobile. And then all the various ways to attach it. You can also daisy chain these. So you can put one fish trap onto the next. Really easy to do with some of these systems out there. So. The accessory aisle here from Clam gives you the ability to daisy chain your fish traps and rig it out for a day on the ice when you're chasing and running and gunning. Organization. Organization has been key when you're on the ice. You have all these different fish trap organizers to keep your gear up and off the ice and organized inside your fish trap. So when you're out there fishing, you don't need to look around for certain things. As you develop a system and trick your trap, it makes it very easy. One item I really like is the seat back storage. This just attaches to the back of your fish trap seat right behind me or behind your fishing partner and you can access, access those parts easily with tackle trays, extra bait, pliers, scoop, lunch, whatever it might be, and it stays attached to your seat. So when you put your seat down and throw your travel cover over the top, it's right there. The next day you know where your gear is at, you know where things are going, and you can stay organized and neat and keep catching more fish. Cargo net. Everyone's seen these inside their boats. You've seen the cargo net that goes right inside your boat, right up by your gunnel. Now these can be affixed to the back of your fish trap. So now you can put gloves in there, extra propane tanks, sandwiches, drinks, whatever you might need 
to stay organized. You can, like I said, you can turn your fish trap into one mean machine to stay organized on the ice. Rod holders, we got various types of rod holders. Four place rod holder has been a mainstay for many ice anglers the last few years. It attaches to the back of your tub. You can store your fishing rods. I actually put this on the front of my ATV and put my fishing rods on the front of my ATV. So as I'm chasing down fish and I don't want to hop inside the fish trap, I have this rigged on the front bar of my ATV with various rods just to grab and go. So if I want to check a spot, see if there's fish down there, I can store things and keep them nice and neat. So rod holders, a must have. Light options, we could do an entire video on light options. You can see the array of lights available from Clam to trick your trap. You have sled lights that mount onto the base of your sled. So now you can illuminate underneath your feet and behind you inside your sled. Just attaches to your Vexlar battery. You have light sticks. A lot of the fish traps out there nowadays will come with these light sticks. This is an inline light stick that can be cut into your uh, hoop pole of your fish trap or with one of these brackets, it's universal, can be snapped on. So if you want to just add it or take it from fish house to fish house, easy way to illuminate your fishing area when you're trying to catch fish inside your fish trap. They come in a variety of sizes, three different sizes so that they can fit inside your pole. So what I do with mine, I run the Yukon XL with the larger inch and a quarter diameter poles. I actually cut a notch out of my fish trap hoop pole and I tack this in so it stays with me permanently. Then I electrical tape this rope or this cord down the side, plug it into my Vexlar, boom, I got lights. So now when I'm fishing, I'm not taking a lantern out there, I'm not messing with butane or propane or broken mantles or having to light a match. I just plug this into my Vexlar and away we go. I'm fishing longer. I'm not going home when the sun goes down. And new, this flex floor LED light. This is cool for many ways. It has the cool factor because you can adjust the color of the light from red to blue to green to natural. So you can change the color of these lights. You can also dim it. So if it's not as bright, if you're gonna be fishing at low light and you wanna dim the light down, you can do that. You also can pretty much rig this anywhere you want. You can put this on the side poles, top poles, underneath, hub house, flip over. This new flex floor light is gonna be awesome. I'm super excited to play with this one this year. You know what, I may even rig this one in my boat. I don't know yet, this may go inside my boat. So the flex floor, for the hub house anglers, you have the LED hub light. This just goes right on top of your hub your center hub above you, you take that one bolt out, attach this, super easy to install, run the cord down, this one light, one push to the button, will illuminate your entire fish house. So if you have a hub house and you wanna stay out there and chase crappies and walleyes, check with this hub light. Ways to store your batteries. The battery bracket. I think every fish trap should have one of these because now you can put a battery down inside this bracket, strap it down there, run across the lake, you don't have to worry about it bumping around, but this allows you to stay, again, organized and neat. You know where your battery is at, it's not getting abused, it's not getting beat up, and it's protected. Now you can plug all these awesome accessories into this battery, and you know right where it's at. This rigs really easily in the side of your fish trap tub, so you know where that battery is at at all times. Ways to store fish. Floor mats. Scoop shovel that extends out, so now if I need to get after something, I got a scoop shovel that with the push of a button, can extend so I can dig spaces out. You know what, this scoop shovel will save me in more ways than you can imagine, not just for fishing, but when you get a machine stuck, easy way to dig out. This is something you just throw in the bottom of your fish trap, you don't know it's there until you need it, and trust me, when you need it, you need it. I've been there, don't be that guy or gal. Center councils for storing stuff, so side councils, corner councils, chairs. Reason B, you can trick your trap with all kinds of cool stuff. Clamoutdoors.com has an exact location for tricking your trap. You can see all this stuff, learn about it more. So when you're on the ice for a day of fishing, there's no reason to not be organized, neat, have the light source, the power source, everything you want to catch more fish. Get out there, have some fun with it, trick your trap this winter, and go catch them.